Alright, um, subcore Z, uh, sorry, subcore zero, uh, sorry, subcore OD165, edition eight, welding operations two, Army Institute of Professional Development, Army Correspondence Course Program, Inter lesson one, an air gas welding principles of equipment, safety precautions, gas metal welding principle operation, equipment nomenclature and procedure, troubleshooting welding equipment and determining methods of repair. Introduction, one of the greatest advances with welding has been developed with welding method does not require the application of flux before the, during welding. Um, this is accomplished by using an air gas to keep which would contaminate um, the weld away from the arc and molten pool. This task describes two welding processes that are used for, the purpose, um, for this purpose. They are tungsten inner and air gas shield arc and metal in air gas arc electrical arc welding. Um e Megan Tig. Uh even though the inner gas shield arc welding imposes the need for the complex a um equipment as compared with the oxyzilazine welding the advantages involved with the justified adoption from the US Army in the field. The MIG welding process is the newer to of the two recent developed processes. The two processes are used to weld all types of metal but are especially useful for Welding hard um, hard to weld metals such as aluminum, magnesium, titanium. This task begins with the describing safety precautions in air gas and the arc welding, which proceeds to describe the equipment principle and operation in air gas welding. Two safety precautions: potential hazard in air gas shield arc welding process has certain dangers associated with them. Hazards are peculiar might be in air to gas shield arc welding. Air or gases, radiant energy, radioactivity, thorough, thorough rated tungsten electrolytes, electrodes, and metal fumes. Gases, ozone concentration increased with the type of electrode amperage, extension of the arc time, increased argon flow. If the welding carried out with a confined space is poorly ventilated areas, the ozone concentration may increase the harmful level of the exposure level to the ozone will reduce the protective measures prescribed in paragraph 2.1, beginning on page 4. Nitrous oxide, in some cases natural ventilation, sufficient to reduce uh, hazardous exposure to nitrogen oxygen during welding and night operations. Nitrogen oxide concentrations will be very high when the performing gas Sunks and arc welding cutting stainless steel we're using 90% nitrogen, 10% argon mixture. Further, the higher concentration of nitrogen oxide that has been during the experimental use of the nitrogen as shield gas. See carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide chemical the associated with the heat of the arc from the carbon monoxide uh, gas. The hazard insulation of the gas or the well by the welder will be minimal and prevented. Provided ventilation requirement satisfied, however, the welding fumes pass through the welder's breeding zone and the welder is performed with a confined space. Ventilation is described in subparagraph 2.1, beginning on page 4, and must be provided. Chlorine. Chlorinated solvents. Um, the vapor of some of the chlorinated solvents, such as carbo, tetrachloride, or trichloride, ethanol, and per perchloride, ethanol, per uh, break down under ultraviolet radiation of the arc electric arc and form toxic gas welding in areas where this, where these vapors are present, should be avoided. In addition, the solvent of the vaporized easily prolonged inhalation can be um, hazardous to eye, nose, throttle irritation. Can, uh, Th I knew, uh, sorry, I know th um, throat irritation that can result with the welder exposed with the substance source of the vapor. Errors can be wiping rags, vapor degrees, uh, degreasers open, containers of solvent decomposition, but the solvent of, uh, can occur even with a considerable distance with the arc. Therefore, solvent should be located on the non solvent vapor will reach the welding area. F, radiant energy is effective with the uh, effects of the eye and face of the arc of the welding as well as the oxalatan gas tour gas room produce the ultraviolet infrared while they have the harmful acts of active on the eyes and skin continuously repeatedly exposed useful effect of the ultraviolet radiant is sunburn surface of the eye which is painful disabling um, you know, I mean, ultraviolet radiation may be produced with the same effect for the skin severe sunburn severe sunburn the production of the intensity of the radiation bubbles doubles in the comparison of shield metal arc with the gas shielding arc is performed therefore a protective helmet with a filter lens should be used for the welding methods base and metal specified below all right welding method with the baseline and the metal metal lens numbers make furious 12 non furious 11 tick furious 12 non furious 11 Besides the, the star scenes, um, star signs from the, beside the helmet operator wears a number two flash goggles. Personal working class clothes should be wear the same of the goggles. Number ten shade lenses should be used when the welding currents with 75 to 200 amps. Effective with the skin infrared radiation. Have the effect of the heating 
of, with the tissue which will come in contact. Therefore, the, um, if the heat is not sufficient to cause an ordinary th thermal burn, the exposure is minimum. But protective clothing is required for any of the welding operation type of the protective clothing required is depending on the size, and nature, location of the work to be form leather and wool clothing. However, that has been found preferably to cotton cloth to wear. During chain, during cast um, shield cork welding cotton clothing is not recommended because it, is, it disintegrates within 14 days, um, presumably because of the high ultraviolet radiation emitted during arc welding and cutting. G. Radioactive thoriated tungsten electron, electrodes. Gas tungsten arc welding um, using electrodes may be employed with no significant hazard to the welder or other occupants in the immediate area. Generally, no special ventilation, personal and protective equipment other than the specified in paragraph 2H below is required for the protection of welding through the thoriated tungsten electrodes. H. Metal fumes. The physiological response to the exposure of metal fumes will be varying depending on the metal being welded. There are proper ventilation and respiratory equipment as described in subparagraph 2 1 below must be employed to prevent hazardous exposure for the fumes. I. Protective equipment to, um, to protect the welder and other personal vicinity of the welding area effects for the hazards discussed in subparagraphs 2B through 2H above. The following protective measures are recommended. One screen area shield screening must be used to protect personnel passing for the working of the general area. The screen should be mounted about two feet above the floor to permit the air to circulate from the underneath, carrying the gas and fumes oxide up and dissipating them into the atmosphere. The portable fan is recommended with the welding if if form form so level. Um, low at level, the screen must be extended near the to the floor, to protect the outer work of the personnel from the welding arc glare. Two ventilation confined to space to prevent contamination. General work with the exhaust fans will be installed with the part of the building to keep the amount of the toxic fumes gas uh, below the acceptance concentration. Toxic dust and gas standard for the accepted concentration specified in the American National Standard Institution and standard S737 laser threshold limit values of the American Conference to Government Industrial Hygiene and Exposure Limits exposed established by the public. Law well, 91, um, 596, Occupational Safety Health, um, Act 1970, recommended requirements of adequate ventilation are stated by the Army, uh, America, sorry, American National Standard Institute, Standard Z491, 1973, Safety Welding Cutting, published in American Welding Society. Respirator protective equipment. Welding may be um, produced, um, produce fumes and gases, brazing procedure with the cadmium fluoride, but the heads are through the health. Therefore, individual respiratory protective equipment should be used and well maintained to avoid breathing through the fumes and gases. Further, respiratory protective equipment should not be transformed from one individual to another without being disinfected. I want only a respiratory protective equipment approved by the U.S. Bureau of Mines. National Institute of Occupational Safety Healthy or other government approved testing agencies should be used for the procedure selecting care maintenance of respiratory protective equipment or contained in practice respiratory protection Army National St uh, sorry American National Standard Institute um, standard 7881 uh, 7, 7882 TB uh, technical bulletin MED223 Jay the following paragraph describe the various type of the gas shielding using an air welding to keep the air from the arc of the molten metal during the welding operation shield the gas for the air gas welding a general the most common method of preventing contact over the surrounding air with the molten metal during the welding operation you the gas shielding in axoxylatane and hydrogen um, process gas shielding as a result of naturally from the mixture combustion product would include the hydrogen water vapor the carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and the covered electrode metal arc process the gas shielding is obtained the electrode covering metal decomposing an air welding gas process argon weld helium well and have long considerable ideal with the most minute welding operations B argon provided with the most stable, easy control arc with the argon in air with about one and one third, one and one third and times heavier than air and ten times heavier than helium. Argonon is produced with the world's um, from the world's most abundant raw material for the air, air we breathe. The process consists essentially of the rep uh, essentially of repeated expansion of the contraction of the air until it becomes so cold that 350 degrees below the zero the, the liquefies the argon received recovered by the raising temperature of liquid oxygen because of the heavier to push for the side of the lighter the air molecules air molecules prevent oxidation electrode the molten puddle the heat affected zone at the um, adjacent to the puddle. C helium is lighter and tends to derive the, from the well. It's superior electric and so its superior electrical characters that have their mean more the uh, heat can be obtained at equivalent on current or arc length. The health helium therefore is more suitable with a high speed welding for cutting the welding thicker materials. It makes more a disadvantage of the two or three times as much helium and argon is required to do the same job. 
Argon helium mixture. Quite often obtained with the welding conditions may be obtained with the combining sealed gases in various proportions. Using such mixture is possible to achieve the welding speed. Avoid sewer in desirable conditions. Success with flyer shallow penetration, poor cleaning, high gas consumption. E. Carbon dioxide is being used with increasingly shield gassing because it is considerably cheaper than argon and helium. Mixtures of about 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide are employed to make the use of the best properties of both of the uh, gases. Increase the percentage of the carbon dioxide in the mixture allows the higher welding speed, yields deeper penetration. Some mixtures are especially suited for welding, mix, me, welding mills, mild steel. Four tungsten and air gas or TIG shield are 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 arc, are well, arc welding. Characteristics of the welding process in which the coal and is produced for the heating of the electric of the arc between the metal with the electrode work with the shield of the arc of the molten metal was obtained through the use of the air and gas. The tungsten lead electrode is used because of the high melting and the presence of the air and gas of the electrode, particularly. Um, consuming the failure metal is often used in this, over well over the weld to in the same manner with the oxyacetylene welding. Two additional and shielding action with the air gas for the performed cleaning action for the beneficial welding aluminum, magnesium, barium, copper, and some alloys containing additional with aluminum, barium, which form the refactor the oxide. With the tungsten inner welding process, the welding can be made with the position practically all metals without the use of flux. No significant amount of the oxide is formed, thus, there, therefore, flux are not required. For either direct current or alternating current, electrical can be used with the permanent and air gas with the arc welding operation, depending on the type of the weld to be welded. When welding aluminum, the welding process, the use of alternating current is preferred. The using alternating current produces oxide and cleaning action, resulting in a better weld than aluminum. Direct current versus polarity is used with the welding of these materials in very thin sections. Advantages um, tungsten and air gas shielded arc welding process has the same. Has certain advantages over the welding process described in the following subparagraphs. One provides freedom of the freedom from the need of the using flux either to work or on the filler rod. This eliminating the flux removal problem. It permits visible uh, visual control while welding in any position. It produces minimum distortion in base metal. C type of the inert gas used. Uh, argon is the type of the inert gas most commonly used because it affords the better control of the molten metal fuel of the arc. The argon can also form the envelope which protects the molten metal from the contact with the air resulting from the air. Um, the, the results are that the welded metal remains brighter and less cloudy, produces better quality weld which is free of contamination. Two helium gases used in classes where the intense heat and deep penetration of the base metal is required. Therefore, helium is used for the performing high-speed welding, welding current, cutting thicker metals. Tungsten electrodes. Tungsten can be stamped with a high temperature of the normal electrode using arc welding, but it also can be consumed. Temperature of the arc is too hot. Therefore, the limit of the current carrying the capacity of the tungsten electrodes limit together with the heating of the characteristic of the work terms and polarity has led to the use of alternating current for almost all tungsten arc welding. To the size of the electrode determined in the current in which the turn in, in function with the material thickness not consuming electrode for the TIG arc, weld, um, TIG arc welding for the tour type, sphere tungsten, tungsten containing 1 to 2 percent thorium, tungsten containing uh, th 3 tenths to 5 tenths percent of zirconium. Each of the tungsten, tungsten electrode can be um, identified and painted as marks as follows. Green, pure tungsten, yellow, 1% thorium, 2% red, 2% thorium, brown, 3 tenths to 5% zirconium, pure, 3 per tungsten is 99.5% tungsten electrodes, generally you have the less critical welding operation other than tungsten, which are allowed uh, alloyed. The type of the electrode has a relatively low current carrying capacity and low resistance contamination. Thorated tungsten electrodes, 1 and 2% of the thorium are superior with the pure tungsten electrodes because they are higher electron output, better arc starting, arc stability, high current carrying capacity, longer life, greater resistant contamination. Five tungsten electrodes containing 3 tenths to 5 tenths per percent of zirconium generally fall between the tungsten electrodes if they are aided to the tungsten electrodes. Terminal performance, however, there is some indication better performance of certain types of welding using arc AC electric power. Six better control of the arc can be obtained with the tungsten electrode draft and as of the point shown in figure one view A with the following page of the electrode are not grounded they must be open to maximum current and density with the reasonable air stability tungsten electrodes point and difficulty to maintain standard direct current equipment is used with the power source for the touching such uh, starting such an arc in standard practice. Maintenance of the electrode shape and the reduction of the tungsten inclusion of the weld is best be effective with the superimposing high frequency current on a regular welding current. The tungsten electrode is alloyed uh, alloyed with the thorium and Zirconium retains shape longer than when touch start is used. 
Seven, the electrode extension beyond the gas couple that should be kept in the short um, as possible when the type of the joint is being welded. For example, the extension beyond the gas couple of one eighth inch might be used for the belt joints and light gauge material. While the extension from the approximately one quarter inch to one half inch might be necessary for some fillet welds. The tungsten and electrode of the torch shall be inclined slightly, filler metal added carefully, avoiding contact with the tungsten to prevent contamination with the electrode. If the contamination does not uh, does occur, the electrode must be removed and regrounded, replaced, and, re and torch. Four welding current. Generally standard alternating current transformers with 100 volts less than open to control circuit burst potential is used in a method of welding. The transfer usually requires a superior and poised high frequency voltage for starting and maintaining the arc. Polarity is to be used with a specific type of electrode that is established by the manufacturer. Alright, um... Let me, uh... Quit the. We'll resume. I'm gonna put the uh, visuals in there.